By the design of a building, one of the first steps are to build a space model, a model of the rooms you need when you have a building, or a whole model when you have a street, a bridge or something else. To build a space I need three steps. At first I have to design the rectangle, then I have to make the extrude of it, and in the last step I will define it as a EFC space. By the space I have to change some properties. At first I change by the view properties the text I want to see. It's a label and it is the area and it is what unit the area has. By the data I change the label. I changed that this space will be host to the layer later, so I set the parameter move with host on true and I look that my EFC type is space. The basement of our space model is the axis link on the base model and the floors. So we're building the first room for the floor number one. Step number one. Making a space, giving him a new name. Parameter with move with host. We put on true. It's a space. We want to see the unit of the area. And so we can now see we have floor number one, room number one, 4.8 quadrat meters, square meter. Um, this room we are now putting into the floor one. So when we move or when we change something on floor one, it also will change for the room. When we want to have a second room on the floor two, at first we have to put the plane on the right place. Sorry, uh, we do it here, right here, floor two. Then we put it up. Let's unview part and now we are going to build the second room. So we can see the two rooms in the different floors and now when I'm going to move floor number two, like right now he's on the position three meters and I say let's go on six meters, he will also take the room with him. But be careful because the basic element of the rectangle is still on the old position, it's only moving the room. Okay, a good way is also to say if I have already one room or one space to make a copy and just copy it into the next floor or put copy it on into the next position. Like I have a third floor, um, I put there my layer and I want in the next room in this floor, um, then I just can go and say okay, I take one room, I will copy him that's all I wanted to copy, yeah, okay, and um, um, I will make him new, 
So now I can go and say this room is floor number three, room one in floor number three. Uh, with this position, now it's in the, on the wrong position. So I have to put him on the right position. Now I have to be careful because I have to do the rectangle on the right position. And the right position is right here, six meters. And on that way he's putting me the room on the right place. And now and all other parameters or properties, sorry, um, are just with a copy in the right position. And now I can just copy him and I have the room on the right place. So, and he also copied the rectangle on the right place. In a last step, I can say, okay, I want to have for each floor a different kind of color. Then I can say, okay, what kind of color I want to have. Um, and for the third floor, I like to have blue. So I can change here the color and um, can see then the different rooms in the different areas um, in that kind of color they usually have.